Located on 409 and 411 Southeast 1st Street, the Sweets or Caldwell Double House exemplifies the booming success many local businessmen experienced in the late 1800s. The house acts as a 19th century version of a modern-day duplex, with each side of this three-story house serving as an almost exact duplicate of the other. After construction was completed in 1883, the home was shared by Henry Sweetser and his wife Mary, and business partner and brother-in-law Frank Caldwell and his wife. The Sweetser Caldwell Double House, although not textbook Queen Anne style, has a very dollhouse-esque appearance. Its plain brick walls are decorated by the incised motif of the window hoods. It also has a number of limestone coins used to accent the angles of the polygonal bays. The small, highly decorative coins give the house a very light, dainty feel associated with the Queen Anne style. Interestingly, the posts on the front porch, which tie the two identical units together, were made to resemble upside-down table legs, a feature of the East Lake style. In 1884, Republican presidential candidate James G. Blaine watched a torch-lit parade from the porch of this fine home. The house would go on to serve as the woman's dormitory for Evansville College from 1918 to 1924, before being carefully turned into apartments by Walter J. Stumpf. Born in Hartford, Connecticut on July 12, 1840, and orphaned when he was only nine, Henry Sweetser came to Evansville when he was just 16 and started his career as a janitor for Willard Carpenter's General Store. While working for Carpenter and several other businesses, Sweetser saved his money for years with the hope of opening his own business. When he was only 23, Sweetser joined forces with Evansville native Frank Caldwell and opened Sweetser Caldwell & Company. A savvy businessman, Sweetser gained much of his fortune through the company, which remained the largest wholesale notions house in the city for years. Just like many of Evansville's most notable historic names, Henry Sweetser and Frank Caldwell showed off their wealth with an extravagant house and, in the process, put a permanent mark on the city of Evansville.